Welcome to Fluid Art by Christine. How are you guys doing today? So, here we go again. We're time to paint. It's been, I don't know, um, about a week maybe, but I was really busy with my anniversary and going out of town for the weekend and all that good stuff. I'll tell you guys about a little bit about that later on while we're painting. Okay, so what I have in store today is a big one. I am on a big one. Uh, that's as big as the two back there behind me. Can you guys see those? Anyway, here it is right here. 18 by 24 ampersand panel with the sides taped up to get that nice edge. I just bring the tape around and um, yeah. So this is gonna be the painting today. I got so many colors, I can't make up my mind. It's crazy. Two, four, six, eight colors and then white, so nine. Crazy, right? Okay, so results. I have lots of results. Um, two I did on camera last video. I'm gonna show you those first. And then two I didn't do on camera. So, this one, I think I'm gonna call it the Lagoon. I think this one's my favorite one because these cells right here just look so freaking awesome. And then this part right here looks like a lagoon. But um, yeah, this one came out great. This is the gallery wrapped canvas. So the sides are looking like that. And with a coat of resin, this is gonna be gorgeous. This is going in my Etsy shop. If you're interested, um, look for it or contact me um but yeah all of these are going into my etsy shop so anyway uh here's the other one don't have a name for this one um i just am drawing a blank on a name but yeah this one's really cool i love the orange and green cells right there oh <gasps> look at those yeah and this one's just super cool my husband's like really loving this one but I told him I said don't be getting you know uh, wanting to keep it I can't keep them all <laughs> but uh, anyway okay so this one is not the one the Karen collaboration black gold and red this isn't the one I did on video this is another one I did with the leftover paint actually came out a lot better and the uh, so here it is and then this gold, you can see it right here, super reflective. When I put resin on this, it is going to shine, baby. And these cells are really, really nice. Right there, those cells. Yeah, this one's really pretty. If you have anything, any interest in an overall kind of maroon look. Uh, yeah, so that one. And then this one is awesome. I had leftover paint and I couldn't go out of town with the leftover paint. And so I just said, screw it. You know, those uh, leftover paint ones are always good luck. So here it is. Look at this baby. Okay, it's got a circle kind of thing going on here and it has a little bit of blue and plum purple going on in it. How do I like it? Hold on. This way. Yeah, a lot of really cool movement in this one. And it kind of looks like a hand. Do you guys see that? Like the hand. I don't know. And I don't have a name for this either. Let's just call it number four. We'll name, we'll number them. The first one I showed, the second one, third one. And if you guys are interested in it, this is number four. And then the center, oh my God. The center makes this painting. And I just love that slash of white going on. That's super cool too. Okay, so those are the results. <sighs> okay, so anyway, um, I want to say Thank you to all the new subscribers and all the subscribers. Um, I've gotten quite a bit of new subscribers as of late. Um, I don't know, over a period of a few weeks. 
uh, the, just the numbers are climbing and uh, share with your friends if you have any people that are looking to learn how to make cells um, I love to help people they contact me all the time I I hold their hands and walk them through it if I have to so I just want you guys I have so many comments on the groups on Facebook all the groups um, it they say how do you make cells that look like that and that's what I'm doing I'm trying to help others be able to make their own paintings with cells that look like that I mean you know I find it took me a long time to reach the goal and now that I'm here um, I'm just loving it and having fun and I love helping others so anyway hi new subscribers and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this painting I am going to turn the camera down and show you the colors and talk about the pouring medium the pouring medium I use today is um, 12 ounces of blue wall six ounces of Floetrol and three ounces of GAC 800 mix all together and then uh, that's your pouring medium and then in the cups I put 100 grams of pouring medium in the cup first and then I put 30 33 grams of paint and you mix it up okay so for my newbies that are looking for how to make cells you got to get the pouring medium recipe first okay um, and there's other pouring mediums out there that work well too okay this is not the end all the only one other pouring mediums work well too but this is the one I use anyway so one to three ratio and um, I don't usually have to add water if it's like a heavy body paint like this only 20 um, grams of paint to 100 so the ratio is this is so much thicker um, so some paints you'll find are thicker and you need to get this right same consistency throughout all of your different colors including your white and the white and flow acrylic is one to one ratio because flow acrylic is looser it's the one this one okay this is flow that is just looser so one to one ratio on this and one to three ratio on everything else and then and then after you have all of your paints mixed up and your colors mixed up then you get the spot on treadmill belt i fully believe that this is the best silicone for creating cells um, i've tried a lot of silicone uh, different you know ones and um, this is the best one so anyway I use um, two to three drops three drops if it's a full cup of paint but if it's the amount that I just mentioned 133 grams total two drops is sufficient you don't want to do too many because paintings that are just full of cells in my opinion um, don't have any uh, shape uh, they don't form into anything they just look like a bunch of bubbles and uh, they can confuse people that don't understand this art <laughs> if you have too many cells um, so I don't know I mean I just have a lot of people that come through my house I have my paintings hanging everywhere and they've never heard of fluid art they've never heard of it and they don't know anything about it and they look at it and they're like wow and they, they, they have a look of confusion on their face. So they may not appreciate it as much as we do, but um, don't let that hold you guys back from making your art and making what your paintings feel beautiful to you. Because a lot of times what's beautiful to you is going to be beautiful to someone else too. And never forget that. Don't lose confidence, okay? the newbies that are starting out say you know they they need confirmation from other fluid artists to say you know yes that's pretty but that's great and that's what the facebook groups are for uh, to support each other and give opinions and all those things but the fact is if you like it that's really all that matters and um if you are not sure then continue to tweak what you're doing until you get to where you want to be you know it takes practice and time so anyway I'm getting off my soapbox now um, okay so I'm gonna get turn the camera down show you guys the colors and um, I'll see you guys later okay so here's all the colors guys uh, there's a whole bunch of them um, but a couple of them I consider to be neutrals like the gold and the uh, Naples 
uh, yellow by Artist Loft and the gold is by Basics. Um, so, and then again, another neutral is the Payne's Gray over here. So if you consider it in that way, um, the the colors are the um, Liquitex Heavy Body Cobalt Turquoise. I mean, you gotta really beat that stuff up, let it sit overnight, because it's lumpy, um, but then you just, it eventually does smooth out. The Basics Gold, the um, Windsor Newton Vermilion Hue. I've got two oranges, uh, one is darker than the other. The Cobalt Blue by Windsor Newton, Liquitex Basics Light Olive Green, uh, Payton's gray by Blick and the cadmium red light hue. The two oranges I've got, one is darker than the other. So yeah, putting a lot of white in this, uh, I'm gonna be uh, doing a sandwich pour and, um, sorry, I'm just, I just added the silicone. I thought the camera was on. I was trying to show you guys. Um, but let me just show you the thickness on a couple of these. Okay, that's the thickness. And let me turn the orange. I think the bright colors you guys can see. See, by the time I put my stick down, it flattens out. And the uh, green. Yep, that's the thickness that you're looking for. Okay, so that's all the colors and we're gonna start layering some cups. So with every sandwich pour, we always start with white and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to layer the outside of the colors but I'm also gonna be putting some white in the center as well. One of the reasons I decided on some of the darker colors is because I knew the white would lighten it. Okay. Let me change these. I'm gonna put the vermilion, the darker orange in first. Um, I should make some of these different, so I think what I'm going to do is do the three first in this order and then do it backwards or something like that. I don't know. So I have um, been missing painting. <laughs> Being away from home can be really great sometimes and then other times it can be like you know well it wasn't I mean I wasn't gone that long so it really wasn't that it was like when I got home I had a lot of work to catch up on so that's really been what's been holding me back and I had terrible luck I mean I had a great time and it wasn't that big of a deal but I decided to bring my video camera the one I used to make these videos to St. Augustine and um, on this ghost bar, it was like a bar tour, go they tell you ghost stories. So we went to like a lot of different places and um, I'm gonna put, hmm, a little bit of white right here. Anyway, I kept taking it out and putting it back into my bag, and somewhere along the way, I I didn't have it when I got home. I know that, so that was that was a bummer. So immediately I was like, "Oh God, I mean, I can't live without my camera. <laughs> I gotta make my videos. It's like a thing now." So yeah, I had to wait for that. Okay, come here, blue. Cobalt blue. This is a really pretty blue. I liked the, um, the ghost tour, but my husband was bored. 
and he was like, when can we get out of here? Like, you know, and I made him stick to it for, I don't know, at least four bars. And it's funny how you don't realize that the bars, because I hadn't been to any, you know, all, I've been to one of them previously. They had like this bathtub upstairs and this is why they were telling the ghost stories because some person that had lived in the home, you know, a couple hundred years ago or whatever, um, died in the tub and they don't believe that it was through natural causes and there's like a whole story behind it and everything and his picture was there and there's a bathtub there and they're like, and this is like, you know, there's seats around and it's a bar <laughs> with tables, but it's an old house that they turned into a bar, you know? And they're like encouraging us to get into the tub <laughs> and take pictures. And nobody wanted to do it. And I wasn't gonna do it if nobody else did it. Cause like, I thought about it for a second, but I was like, ah, all these people are gonna be looking at me. But they said that if you get in it, that there's a possibility that in the pictures a ghost will show up <laughs> in the pictures and if if you go home and notice anything different about your pictures could you please send them a copy of them like they seem to really really believe in it but i was kind of pessimistic about it i was like really but it was all in fun. You're in St. Augustine and I don't know. <laughs> this is going to be colorful. All right. What am I going to do about these? I'm gonna make sure I have enough paint. I know I have enough of this orange. So, I'm going to start on these. I'll tell you what, the best thing that we did was uh, bring our bikes. And instead of walking all around, we biked all around. And I, that was the best uh, part of the whole thing because normally, we do um, walk all around and you're, you're just aching. It's so much walking for hours and the heat was a really major factor. I mean, you guys, it's like 100 degrees here. <coughs> Excuse me. So, the reason I'm putting this Naples yellow on top of the orange before I do the blue is because sometimes blue and orange make brown so as a slight barrier that's why I've decided to squeeze that Naples yellow in there between the blue and the orange just giving you guys that little tidbit yeah let me do a little bit of white right here But you guys would have laughed at me if you had seen me trying to bike over the Lions Bridge. Um, just in case none of you guys, some of you guys haven't been to St. Augustine, there's a bridge. It's just like any other bridge. You know, you go uphill for a while and then you go downhill. Well, on a bike, going uphill in the heat, <laughs> my legs were burning like crazy. And, uh, you know, my husband's like, he's Mr. Fit and he surfs and all this and I'm like he makes me sick and um, but he wasn't making fun of me I was like I think I'm gonna need to sit down and catch my breath because that sucked and I don't want to do it again but uh, it's all in good fun I did it I went over that bridge four times total on the bike <laughs> Good times. Just 
trying to get all the paint out. But let me tell you guys, the art galleries there are so cool. Really cool. I think there's like five. And they keep them all kind of clustered in this um, square, uh, something square area. And... Yeah, really neat. Where am I at? A little bit of white in these two. So you can just literally go gallery, gallery, gallery. I want to make one of these a little bit more paint than the others because I've found. That the one cup that I use as the fifth cup in the center, I kind of need a lot of paint in that one. How many nipples y'all are left? A little bit. So I'm trying to think what else happened when we were there. Oh, the Sunset Cruise was awesome. It was, there was a restaurant that we went ate at that was right there on the water. And it was like, it's a different bridge than the Lions Bridge. And so I never even knew it was there. So anyway, we just had such a fantastic time. And we had a really beautiful... Um, ooh, there is some lumps in this white paint. Gosh, I hate that. Hold on, you guys. Because I mixed such a large amount, like this big cup like this, it, it doesn't mix <laughs> as good as if it's in a cup maybe this size. So yeah, watch out for that. Okay, the cups are ready guys. I'm gonna get the table ready with the canvas and I'll be right back. Mm. And I have this fifth cup for the middle. Wait for those to come down. I'm excited about this one guys. Very, very excited. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to start right here. Lots of cells popping out of that one already. A little spillage. This one for the middle. Hmm. I'm considering doing a pour, you guys. Okay, now, my heart's beating really hard right now. I have this and I'm considering doing, it's, it's similar to a flip and lip, um, to give this some real flow. And I'm nervous about it. in this one guys something really different for me I don't know might have screwed it up y'all All right, let's torch it. That's a giant, giant wreck it right now. Let's see what we can make happen. turning it around carefully.
Wow, this thing's heavy. <laughs> My arms are shaking. Okay, stop and look. Wow. This center is super cool. Um, okay. This is a little dull, this corner. turn it around again. I want to look at it from a different vantage point. Okay, I just need to really look at this thing right now, guys. Just like, all right. Sorry, I was so quiet, guys. I like really had to focus. This is like so many colors going on. <laughs> um. It's hard to make sense of it. I'm going to give you guys a close-up so you guys can see what I'm looking at. And um, I have to figure out whether or not I like it. Because it's really not like my normal sandwich pour. Uh, my normal sandwich pour. Because I did use a lot of colors, I mean... And they really came out. I love the middle. I love a lot of things about it. I just don't know if it works composition wise. A lot of cells. Lots of cells. Okay guys, so here it is and I don't think I love this composition. I mean, the cells are great, but it's like, this is a painting here, and then this is a painting here. And it's like three different paintings that don't go together on one canvas. Do you feel me? Like, I don't know how else to and this is a really nice panel and I can scrape it and use the panel over but um, I just don't know 
I really don't know. The cells are nice, but nice cells don't make a nice painting. It's got to work. And this is a perfect example, I think, of something that doesn't work. Maybe it's because it's got green and red in it. it see how red that looks? That's that vermilion. And for some reason, it had the um, Payne's gray around it. And it made it look red, red. So I don't like green and red together on a painting. Um, green and orange works. So, guys, this is, I'm going to call this a fail. All right, and uh, I don't usually post fails, but I guess, you know, everybody's human. You guys should see my failures, too. <laughs> but it was fun. It was fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. And uh, I just wanted to let you guys know, uh, this is not a keeper. I'm going to save the panel, and um, this will not be in my Etsy shop. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I'm going to keep a good attitude, and I hope you guys do, too. You guys have a great day. Bye now.